A huge South Korean company is starting a crypto exchange. Vitalik weighs in on crypto payments and an altcoin comes from nowhere to becoming the number two earner. My name is Frankie Candles and this is your nightly crypto news wrap up. Let's get it. Vitalik Buterin tweeted yesterday that people continue to underrate how often cryptocurrency payments are superior, not even because of the censorship resistance, but just because they're so much more convenient. Big boost to international business and charity, and sometimes even payments within countries. This happened around the same time Buterin was being interviewed at Korea Blockchain Week 2022, where he was touting the new level of crypto payments via ETH 2.0. He went on to mention that transaction fees for crypto payments in lower income countries is essential for the growth of crypto. Earlier in the year, Sam Bakeman fried expressed a similar opinion that crypto payment projects have huge untapped potential. There are always opportunities in the market, whether it's bullish or bearish. Let's check in with our in-house chartist, Frankie Candles, for a market update. Thanks, but oh, Frankie Candles. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump in and do a little market watch here. We've got Bitcoin coming in at $21,551, down about 7% on the week. Ethereum coming in at $1,693, down about 8% on the week. Now, guys, I want to bring you over to the charts. To be honest, not too much has really happened since yesterday. We are still just stuck in this, uh, you know, somewhat of a bear flag. Uh, you know, bearish continue, uh, bearish consolidation pattern here, uh, sitting on top of all this strong support, uh, just continuing to range here, guys. But I do think tomorrow with the news coming out of the Fed, I do think this is where we're going to start seeing some massive, massive volatility. So maybe this is price just kind of, you know, calming before we have this explosive move tomorrow, either to the upside or the downside. But right now, not much has changed. We are just sitting on top of the support ranging in that same area. So we're going to have to wait for that news tomorrow to see which way this thing is going to break up or down. Uh, but if you guys want to follow me, it's Frankie Candles on YouTube or Frankie underscore Candles on all socials. Back to the news. Thanks, Frank. If you want to trade like the pros, be sure to click the Femex link in the description down below to get an exclusive bonus just for the Bit Squad. Anchor Protocol shocked traders yesterday after it pumped 80% off the news that it's partnering with Binance Labs. Speculators moved in to make a quick buck, but the coin quickly corrected. The price action was a blip on the radar, but the partnership with Binance is very good news for the project and shows renewed interest in DeFi from the biggest player in crypto. Anchor was started in 2017 with the goal to harness the power of blockchain and cloud computing. So far, it's stuck around for two bear markets and has shown consistent growth, which is more than can be said about the Atlanta Falcons. Electronics behemoth Samsung is gearing up to enter crypto next year and bring its own exchange to the market. It's going to be bringing the full weight of South Korean blockchain development talent to the space, as well as a keen understanding of the strict securities laws in South Korea. They're looking for a slice of the pie that FTX, Binance, and Coinbase have been eating up over the past few years. But an entity like Samsung entering crypto brings a lot of hope into the industry as South Korea is a country that boasts some of the highest levels of crypto adoption. Samsung is already one of the biggest investors in blockchain, as just a few weeks ago announced a partnership with Theta to bring NFTs to their Galaxy phones. Looks like crypto is going to be getting some Gangnam style in 2023. That's all I got for this update. Frankie Candles out.